car design is still designed around reference man. So the car crash test dummy that we've used for decades has been based on the 50th percentile male. And of course, that means that the car crash test dummy is too big and too heavy and different in all sorts of ways um, and doesn't really work for women very well. Um, and that is not the only problem. There is also the issue of seat belts, which haven't been designed to accommodate breasts, for example. Uh, you also have, well, this is because of the car crash test dummy, seats are too firm for most women. This isn't a comfort thing. This is that women get thrown further forward if they're in a car crash, uh, because it's, not, it's meant to be accommodating a weight that's much heavier. Women also tend to sit further forward in order to reach the pedals, which I think is a very important part of driving. But what that does is it puts them outside of what's called the standard seating position, the seating position that reference man will be in, and it puts them at a much higher risk in a frontal collision. Plus, of course, they're being thrown forward by the seat. The result of all of this is that women are 47% more likely to be seriously injured and 17% more likely to die if they're in a car crash than a man. 